And we begin the week, Nobel Week, with breaking news in Stockholm, Sweden. The 2023 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine this year has gone to two scientists whose work played a critical role in the fight against COVID-19. The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute has today decided to award the 2023 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Katalin Karikó and Drew Weissman for their discoveries concerning nucleoside base modifications that enabled the development of effective mRNA vaccines against COVID-19. The two scientists, Katalin Karikó and Drew Weissman, recognized for their work on mRNA vaccines, messenger RNA vaccines. Their initial work published more than a decade ago, but now being hailed by the Nobel Prize Committee for the groundbreaking and vital research it has proven to be. And let's bring in Hillary Johnstone with more on these new Nobel laureates, how they met and Tell us more about their work and how they developed this incredible innovation. Well, this joint or these joint winners, Heather, we were told that they were notified this morning that they received a phone call being told that they had won this year's Nobel Prize uh, and were both said to be overwhelmed by all of this. So uh, Dr. Katalin Karako is Hungarian born. Uh, Dr. Drew Weissman was born in the United States, but the pair of them met back in the 1990s while they were both working at the University uh, of Pennsylvania. They both had this interest in messenger RNA technology, which at the time, it might be hard to believe now, was actually viewed as a bit of a scientific backwater. It was not a popular thing to be studying or exploring at the time. And then, of course, today, what we heard when they were awarded this prize, what we heard from the committee was that the use of mRNA technology in those vaccines, so remember here, both Moderna and Pfizer, those are two vaccines that were used in the fight against COVID-19 that use this technology, uh, that their work contributed to not, not only these vaccines that were administered over 13 billion times around the world. But according to the committee here, they save millions of lives, prevented severe COVID-19, reduced the overall burden of disease and enabled societies to open up once again. So pretty incredible what these two have done. Uh, in terms of, of the prize itself, they'll be awarded 11 million Swedish crowns. That's the equivalent of about 1.36 million Canadian dollars. It's actually 1 million extra crowns compared to last year because the value of the Swedish crown has diminished so much. So that's the prize money that they're going to be getting. Uh, they will receive their prize in Stockholm in December. And of course, Heather, it's gearing up to be quite an exciting week on the Nobel front because we'll have some of those other prizes, including the Peace Prize, which will be handed out on Friday, the Prize for Literature later this week as well, the Economics Prize handed out uh, next week. But lots to be watching for. But for today, certainly uh, these two are the stars of the show for their work uh, on this technology. Now, just very, very briefly here. Why is this different than traditional vaccine technology? Well, in the past, traditional vaccines, of course, uh, use a dormant form of a virus, for example. This is very, very different. This technology works in a different kind of way. And of course, uh, lots of people very optimistic that it could be used uh, to fight other diseases in the years, in the decades to come. It has already won a slew of major awards and now the Nobel. Thank you, Hillary. Really Thank appreciate uh, the information on this research and the prize winners.